Hello YouTube, I thought today I would have a little look at Slackware Linux. Um, I installed it just the other day and I've been playing around with it a little bit. Just to, you know, I've, I've heard of some some opinions and uh, reviews and whatnot on, on Slackware and I had this sort of idea that perhaps it would be even more difficult than something like Arch Linux which is my primary distro and I'm quite a fan of. And uh, I thought that would be harder or more of a challenge or and I've heard things about the package manager and you know whatever I'm sure you've probably heard your own your own things about Slackware and so I thought I'd give it a shot anyway so as you can see I'm actually using XFCE now once you see a window border you'll you'll start to think what the hell but uh, I can assure you I'm looking at the window border it's not Ubuntu it's actually XFCE using the uh, the Ubuntu uh, theme which you'll find on XFCE dash look Org, which is a very good site recommended especially for XFC only themes because you do get some of the themes which are sort of more designed for GNOME and don't work quite as well as they could but anyway you look this one up on the site and very well worth it I also uh, downloaded the Ubuntu family font theme which I think looks really good too so you know, anyway, uh, just to prove it uh, go to our window manager theme you see it's the ambience window management theme there so that's cool I made the Tight alignment to the left, that's good. And appearance, you can see again, style ambience icons are the, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, the, the Fanes are theme. Anyway, I like it. And the Ubuntu theme, of course, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, if you've ever installed Slackware, you know that the full install is basically a lot of packages. In this case, I downloaded a DVD. Um, the full install usually comes with XFC and a few other little minimi uh, minimalistic window managers and of course KDE which is the KDE desktop, I think it's 4.5 which is the, the big primary uh, desktop interface that it comes with. I actually opted to, I went for the full install in the installer but opted to not use um, opted to not use KDE because I've had KDE before and it's big and it's nice but I wanted to use something more minimalistic especially with something like Slackware which is more hands-on in the terminal and everything anyway so I thought I'd give it a go so I deleted my panels and got this fairly clean desktop here I've got Cairo dock on the left non OpenGL because the OpenGL version worked okay but occasionally it would just freeze up for some reason and the actual dock would, would sometimes cause some trouble and to kill it off with the terminal or whatever I'm not sure why it does that, but it's not the first time I've had Cairo play up, so I'm not going to blame it on the OS or anything like that too much. Uh, but anyway, the non-OpenGL version works just fine and does exactly what I need it to, so... Anyway, um, the full install, you do get quite a few programs. I mean, this is just typical XFCE applications right here that comes with that, that side of it. Uh, I, I did install the proprietary drivers. The Novu drivers... Um, I can't quite remember what happened there. I believe I was having some issue with them. Uh, yeah, typically, um, when I fired up the uh, the X server with the Novu open source drivers, you would get this very fuzzy lines just everywhere. Just it's, it's just garbled basically. And I've had that before with Novu, and it's usually something to do with the command at a uh, no mode set not being set at the uh, the boot time loader. Um, this is using Lilo instead of Grub, so I wasn't sure how to do it. So I just installed the proprietary drivers, which I usually do anyway, so I thought, why not? It'll do the job. It was easy. Downloaded the site, ran it through the console, installed them. Easy peasy. So that's no problem. Anyway, moving on. So in the accessories, uh, the usual. Most of this is not even the HP device assistance, and you'll see soon something to do with uh, a Bluetooth applet as well. This actually came with uh, Slackware. I didn't install it. Most of this is default. I installed, of course, the XR drive. There'll be a few things that um, I installed, but mostly it all comes with the actual OS. Uh, development, again, they're just uh, to do with the compiling and a few things included. The games, didn't get much in the way of games, but XBoard, XOS, eBoard. There's probably more on the DVD, but I'm pretty sure I did install the full install except for KDE. So basically you would have some probably some KDE games and other KDE accessories if I installed KDE, but I didn't. So just taking KDE out of the equation, we're using XFCE, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you do get the GIMP as standard, which is very nice. Um, yeah, the GIMP's lovely, what can I say? It fires up really fast, actually. Um, surprisingly, GIMP on here is a lot faster than 
for me than what it was on uh, Arch Linux. So I'm not sure why exactly. It could just be the interface. I'm using GNOME 3 on Arch Linux, but nevertheless, Arch is pretty fast in most cases. But GIMP is just that little bit quicker on here. Anyway, back to my menu. So back to the graphics. Geechee is a. I haven't really bothered to install another graphics view. I probably will. I mean, I like that one called I have GNOME. I believe it comes with GNOME or Ristretto, which usually comes with XFCE. Anyway. Again, I just apologise. My voice is a little bit croaky. I've had a bit of a cold recently, so if I sound a bit weird, you know why. Anyway, so Geechee, it, it does work. And it displays you know, your picture here, and it does the job. But it, I don't know. It's not quite what I'm used to, but it does the job. So it's there, and it seems lightweight, so who can complain? Uh, XPDF, I guess that's for your PDF. So I don't really bother with that too much. Xane scanning, except okay, I haven't used it before, obviously. Anyway, get rid of that. I got another scan hooked up anyway, so... Oh, okay. Windfast DVT. That would be my uh, tuner card, actually. For some reason, they're detected as a scanner. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway. So, anyway, just the, the, the usual multimeter. Audacious Avidamux, I installed that myself. The rest is all standard except for VLC. And record my desktop, which I don't use, but I was just trying it out. So, most of that's pretty standard. Um... Same with the network, you get Firefox as standard, Pigeon, SeaMonkey, XChat, Thunderbird, you actually do get all this with the disk, GFTP, Arage, which I guess is your calendar, V Improved, the text editor, the very advanced text editor, and of course the usual, and uh, I installed HTOP and Cairo, of course, but anyway, enough of that. So pretty standard stuff, and uh, that's what you get, minus obviously the KDE applications. So anyway... Uh, Funa, of course, is the file manager, which you're aware of, you know, XFCE. I do like it. The only thing I've never been able to understand is that every other file manager I've used seems to display your, your, your petitions and, and all that. In here, even though you've got the volume management set up, it never seems to do it, so I never really worked it out. I'll have to look into that more and uh, see if there's any extensions or things like that. I'm sure it's nothing big, but other than that, Funar works very fast, very nice. It does the job, I can't complain. As you can see, the theming has worked really well, and it looks great. So, And it works great. Anyway, so again, yep. So we'll just go and have a look. So Slackware, if you don't know about it, is actually one of the oldest uh, Linux distros around. Probably one of the originals, really. Um, it's designed for simplicity and stability. It's meant to be, or aims to be the most Unix-like Linux distribution using plain text files configuration and making as few modifications as possible to software packages from upstream. So basically Slackware packages are very, very vanilla. You know, there's not so much of that patching going on that you'll see in Debian or any other distribution really. There's not so much patching. They are pretty much as the author intended the software basically. I used it for a couple of days, but I'm pretty impressed now. Again, if you've heard of Slackware, you may know that it, in the way of package management, it's um, there's no tracking or managing of dependency. There's no automatic dependency resolution in Slackware. It's all very hands-on. It's all manual. But it's not as bad as it sounds. And it, I've found Slackware to be a lot easier. In fact, just backing up a little bit, uh, installing Slackware for that matter was actually a lot easier than I expected. I mean, it was even easier than, say, Arch Linux. There was less to do in that way. The installer is NCurse's based, it's menu based, but you won't get anything point and click. So, you know, if you're scared off by, uh, or you don't like any sort of text based installers, then you probably wouldn't want to pursue this. But it, it's pretty easy to use, and, you know, it's menu based. It, it wouldn't say it holds your hand, but it's friendly and it guides you along and it tells you, it gives you recommendations. I personally uh, found it to be quite a breeze. I mean, but a lot of the text file editing seems to be left until after you've installed it. But again, there's not that much, and the documentation is pretty good. I, I re so this is the main site. It's Slackware 13.31, uh, 37. Sorry, came out just about last month actually. Um, looking at the previous release, or the I guess this was more of a minor release. I'm not sure exactly how the release cycle works. Um, as far as I can tell, the release cycle is not truly consistent. Basically with Slackware, they release it when it's done, when it's ready. 
there's no set date. It, it's probably around a year, but well, so it seems, but it seems like they just release it when it's ready, and that's one of the reasons why Slackware is known to be one of the most stable and uh, reliable distros. So that's that's that.